So we've got some news before the US Open with Alina Rabakina going coachless, it seems, into the US Open. Just announcing that she has split with longtime coach Stefano Vukov. Uh, he's been around with her since five years ago. I think it was just before uh, COVID. Obviously, uh, with Wimbledon getting the win there, she's been to the final of uh, Australian Open. A lot of big accomplishments. Let's have a look at what she actually said on social media regarding the split. So this is what she had to say over on Instagram. Hello, everyone. After five years, Stefano and I are no longer working together. I thank for his work on court and wish him all the best in the future. Thank you all for your support. And then a bit of a heart symbol there as well at the end. So going to the US Open, it seems like she will be coachless unless she's got somebody else in for him or at least jumping in as an interim coach which is usually what these players do you can see with sissy pass he's got a coach coming in after him and his dad split over the last couple of weeks but she didn't have him in cincy and it kind of makes sense now that maybe they hadn't announced it yet but they weren't working together maybe since cincinnati or maybe he you know, maybe there was something going on we don't have any details there why it happened but they're no longer working together let me know down the course below who should rebecca approach as the new coach, or who would you like to see Rabakina being coached by? Uh, there are a few coaches floating around, but man, it's going to be interesting to see how Rabakina does at the US Open, because she's not very good at the US Open. Her worst slam, if you base it on results, has been the US Open. So going there with a fresh, uh, with no coach, or even a fresh coach, if she has got a coach right now uh, that she's already uh, hired, it could be a little bit weird. So interested to see how Rabakina goes. Her draw is very tough at the US Open as well, but she is split with her longtime coach, Stefano Vukov. They will not be working together going forward.